Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I have something very awesome for everyone with a jailbroken device on iOS 10. I will show you guys how you can get the iOS 11 look and features on your iOS 10 device. So of course you have to be jailbroken and you will get a few of the new UI changes on the iOS 11 and also a bunch of new features that are on iOS 11, you can get them on your iOS 10 device. So let's get started with the lock screen. So as you probably know by now, the iOS 11 lock screen passcode will look a little bit different. It doesn't have the rings around the numbers, but it will have the buttons something like this. So you will have a kind of blur beneath the numbers and this is basically what it looks like. So to get this look on your iOS 10 device, what you need to do is install two tweaks. So you install Hide Me X and from here you can enable the tweak and then you need to go to lock screen right here and scroll all the way down and hide the button ring right there. Then you need also to install a tweak called Faces Pro. Once you install it, you go ahead and enable it and go to configuration. What you need to do here is just go ahead and click here set a background tint color and just set the color like this just like I have it right here you can see just like this set it and then you will have this nice look on the lock screen of your device so let me just show it to you so this is the passcode screen that you will get on an iOS 11 device and now you can get it as well on your jailbroken iOS 10 device another change here that we saw on iOS 11 are the dots here at the signal now you won't have the dots but you will have back the old school bars on the status bar here at the signal of your carrier you can get that with a simple tweak called bars which you can install for free from Cydia and it's pretty cool so you can see you will get back the bars no options to configure just install the tweak called bars from Cydia Another huge change on iOS 11 is the new control center. Well, there is a tweak called modular CC, which will bring the iOS 11 control center to your iOS 10 device. But just remember the tweak right now, it's still on early stages of beta. So it will of course be updated with more features and you will have more toggles and you will be able to go ahead and customize them, add them or remove them. Right now it's still on an early beta stage. So here it is. This is called modular CC and it brings the iOS 11 control center look to iOS 10. So you can see you can remove, you can actually move the parts here so you can place them anywhere you want. They look pretty awesome. And let, let me just show it on the landscape mode here so if you go to landscape mode you open the control center it looks absolutely gorgeous let me just open the control center so here you will have the sliders and on the on the other side here you have the the control so you have the wi-fi bluetooth all that stuff so you have the media controls right there let's just play a song there let me just turn down the volume here. So here you have all the toggles, everything, the quick launches. And as I said, more features will be added to this tweak. So it will be more like the iOS 11 control center. You will be able to add like more buttons, more quick launches, more toggles here. And you will also have the airdrop and the night shift and all that good stuff. Another small UI change on iOS 11 is the hidden labels on the dock so if you have noticed the dock on ios 11 doesn't have labels at all so you can remove the labels from the dock using springtomize 4 so if you install springtomize 4 you can go to icons go here to dock settings and from here you can hide the labels from the dock here no labels at the icons of the dock Another cool feature of iOS 11 is the ability to write something on your screenshot. So if you take a screenshot, you can go ahead and mark something or whatever. So you can do that also on iOS 10 with a tweak called Scriblet. So all you have to do is just set an activated gesture and then you will use that gesture to invoke the tweak. So here, if I double tap on the status bar, you can see right here I can start like this marking anything that I want here on the screen if I tap here I can go ahead tap here to take a screenshot so you can see it will take a screenshot it will save it with the marks right there 
So if I go here, I can change the color, come back, I can write anything, I can delete that. So it's pretty cool and you will have a screenshot button right there so it will work anywhere on your device. So whether you're on home screen or on an app, you can go ahead and take a screenshot and also you can mark anything that you want and then just click here to save it to your camera, to your camera roll and hit the X button there to dismiss the menu and also to remove all the markup from the screen. The ability to view GIFs on the Photos app has been around on a jailbroken devices for quite a while now and it's a new feature of iOS 11 and if you don't have it on your iOS 10 device then this is GIF Viewer. Unfortunately it has not been updated to work with iOS 10 but it still works on iOS 10 but when you go to purchase it Cydia won't let you purchase it even though it works perfectly fine on iOS 10. So the solution is if you have previously bought it you can go ahead and sign in into your Cydia account and you can go ahead and download it to your device so you can see you can play GIFs here on the camera roll it's pretty awesome it doesn't have anything anything to configure all you have to do is just install the tweak the ability to move multiple icons at a time is a very welcome feature to ios a lot of people are excited about it i tried it it's a bit hard to move a lot of icons it's a bit tricky but on a jailbroken device of course you can get that feature with multi icon mover plus and the process is way simpler than on iOS 11. So you just tap and hold one of the icons and then you can just go ahead and tap on any of the icons that you want to move. You go to the page where you want to move them, click like that on the home button and you will have all the icons moved to that page. So the process is way more simple than you have the process of moving multiple icons on iOS 11. Another cool feature on iOS 11 is the ability to go ahead and pin your most important notes at the top of the notes on the notes app. Well, you can do that with a tweak called thumbtack. So if you want to have that iOS 11 feature on your iOS 10 device, you can install a free tweak called thumbtack and it's pretty simple to use. You just tap and hold one of your notes on the notes list here and it will pin it and it will put it at the top so you will have your most most important notes right there. Of course you can pin more, more than one note, just tap and hold on every note that you want to pin and they will be placed at the top of the notes list. Another very welcome feature on iOS 11 that a lot of users have been waiting for quite a long time to get is the dark mode. So actually Apple it's not calling it a dark mode, it's called like smart invert or something like that and what it does is that it actually brings the dark mode to iOS 11. I don't know why Apple hasn't decided to call it dark mode because it's actually a dark mode so whatever the name doesn't matter it's there so you can also get it of course on a, on a jailbroken iOS 10 device. If you had a jailbroken device for a while, you know there is an awesome tweak out there called Eclipse and right now it's called Eclipse 4 for iOS 10 and it brings the dark mode to iOS 10. So after you install Eclipse 4, you will have this awesome dark mode here on your iOS 10 device on the apps. So you have here all your apps and you can get that awesome dark mode. And actually what's cool about it is that it allows you to choose on which apps you want to use. So you enable it right here and then you scroll down here down to applications and from here you can enable or disable any of your apps and choose in which of your apps you want to actually use the dark mode. So it's a pretty awesome tweak called Eclipse 4. The most improved section of iOS 11 I, I believe to be the control center. Even though a lot of people don't like it, a lot of people hate the new design of the new control center, the features are there and there are some very important features that they have added to iOS 11. First of all, let's talk about the cellular data. So, of course, you can now turn on or off the cellular data from the control center of your iOS 11 device but we could do that way way before on the jailbroken device so you can get a tweak called CC data more and it actually allows you to turn on or off the cellular data directly from the control center also we have here another toggle for the low power mode so 
CC low power allows it to turn on or off the low power mode. This is a new feature, also a new toggle on iOS 11 and you can get that with CC low power mode. And then we have CC recorder. This tweak allows you to record the screen of your device directly from the control center. A big feature of the new control center on iOS 11 is the ability to record the screen directly from here. So you just tap there, it starts recording. And when you go back, you just tap once more, it will stop recording and it will save that video on the camera roll. That's exactly how that also works on iOS 11. And now you can have that feature on the control center of your iOS 10 device. As I mentioned earlier, the modular CC tweak that brings iOS 11 control center to your iOS 10 device will be updated very soon with new features and probably all these new toggles will be included there as well. So from then, when it gets updated, you won't need to install these little tweaks. You will have all, the, all of those options on that tweak called modular CC. On iOS 11, if you have noticed also on the lock screen, you can go ahead and turn into the landscape mode. So you will have that feature on the, on, only on the lock screen of iOS 11. You can get that also on iOS 10. On smaller devices, of course, you can go ahead and also rotate the screen on the home screen, not just the lock screen. That tweak is called UI Rotation 9 and you can get it from Cydia. As I said, it enables the landscape mode, not just on the lock screen like on iOS 11, but on the home screen as well. So that is it for this video, guys. This is how you can get a lot of features of iOS 11 and also a lot of new UI changes of iOS 11 on your iOS 10 device, on your iOS 10 jailbroken device. So of course, more tweaks will be released in the near future that will bring more iOS 11 features to iOS 10. And I will update you guys with another video once we get more tweaks that bring more iOS 11 features to iOS 10 on jailbroken devices, of course. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.